Cat and I went shopping and I want to show you some stuff I got. Um, my first order of business is three custom color. Uh, these are the Mega Volumes by Create Beauty. And, I'm, and uh, they are really, really gorgeous. They're like super thick at the bottom and they wisp out very naturally and pretty. So they don't look like a big flap. You know what I mean? That one. I hope that doesn't end up being the icon of this video. <laughs> anyway. So then I got also two other sets. This one which is the corner wing for the outside here, and you actually get two in the box, so it's like a double deal. And then these, and these are called the Sweet Individuals, and they've got small, medium, and large individual lashes. And moving on, then I got two of their cream eyeliners, which they call definers. This one is in Jupiter. You can see I've dug into it a little bit already there. And it's like a aubergine eggplant type of color. I know aubergine eggplant's like kind of a, um, you know, saying it twice, but for y'all that don't know what aubergine means. And then this one, which is Aurora, and it's a black with a slightly purple opalescence to it. And then I got two eyeshadows. This is Warm White, put from their Warm Ready to Wear line. This is what the package looks like. And this is um, Warm Nutmeg. Haven't had a chance to bust that one out yet. And then I also got a brow definer, and this was in number two, but I realized when I got home that this wasn't the right one. I actually needed number three. And last but not least, from Three Custom Color, I got the Light Clarifier. The Clarifier in Light. Got a package from Sephora today. And, um, you know, everybody loves samples. I'll just show you my samples, because I guess they're included in my haul as well, right? I got a um, Narciso Rodriguez for her. Uh sample of fragrance. I didn't even put that on my request. It just happened to come in there. Wait, I put something else in there. I don't remember what it was, but it wasn't that. I don't care. It's just a sample. And then Hourglass Veil um, Mineral Primer. Everybody keeps saying that's really good, so I want to try it out. And then the Stila One Step Makeup um, in Medium, which I know is going to be too dark for my skin, but they didn't have light as an option, so boo on you. And then I redeemed my hundred, one of my hundred beauty point perk things, because I'm a VIB. And I got the NARS um, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in this adorably tiny bottle. Gosh, look at how cute that is. It's so little, baby. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of that little haul. Uh, from my Temp2 airbrush. AirPod. I got these guys, which are the two summer limited edition uh, blush and highlighter. And they're calling it the Enhance Kit blush and highlighter. And I got Summer Glam, which is warm, and Summer Glow, which is cool. This is the Summer Glow. Here's the warm. I got the Toki Doki. I took it out of the package. Toki Doki VIB Insider Gift with Purchase thing. And it's this cute little necklace. The clasp actually has another little charm. Oh, you can see them together. I think I'm actually going to move this little tiny adorable star charm up with this one. Oh crap, I got them all tangled. That's annoying. So that's all for this Sephora. I know it doesn't seem like much, but these little babies are not cheap. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, then, let's see. Over the weekend, I went to Manhattan Mall because they have a proactive kiosk. So I got some proactive. Three pack of the cleansers. And I don't use the whole three step system. I just use the cleanser um, because I feel like the whole system is a little too much for me. 
and it's a little too drying. So, this. Since I was at Manhattan Mall, which I'm not a fan of, but, you know, they have the only proactive kiosk, um, I hopped on over to Lush! And I probably go shopping at Lush maybe twice a year, because I don't, like, take a bath every night. I don't need a hundred different bath products in my life. Uh, I just keep a few. So I'll start out with those. And this is... The Happy Pill! There's not enough water in the world to swallow this guy. Unless you're a bathtub. It's supposed to be like grapefruit, ginger, and orange. <coughs> Sorry. I think I breathed a little bit of it in. <coughs> Sick. And the girl was telling me that I shouldn't cut it in half and I should use the whole thing. And I was like, but of course you're telling me that because you work here and you want me to come buy more seven freaking dollar things. Eight dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars, I don't know, six fifty. I was looking at the receipts right there, so I was just looking at that to see how much it costs. Um, but I'm gonna cut it in half because I don't need to be sitting in a giant fizzy bubble time. I think half fizzy is just enough fizz for me. Right? Then I got the floating island bath thing. I'm calling it a cupcake because it doesn't it look like a cupcake? I don't know what it smells like. I don't know. It smells good to me. But I'm very particular with my smells. I don't like most of the stuff stuff that Lush has. And I got a glitter bubble bar. This smells exactly like the entire slush store, so however you describe it. Stinky? Yeah, stinky, but I like it. I cut that bad boy in half, too, when I use him. And then I also got a soap in, I had them cut me off a little chunk of it, in porridge. And that's, I think it's supposed to be, um... Molasses? I don't know. I'm not sure, but it's got natural oats in it. And it says, real oats make for a sweet scrubby soap that's just right. And it smells delicious. I wish I could eat it. And then the last thing I got was, well, second to last thing I got was the Sweet Lips um, sugar scrub for your lips. And then I got a sample of the light pink um, color supplement. I'll show you. This one's light pink. I guess I'm light pink. I don't know. So, yeah, that's it. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!